Hey everybody, so I recently purchased Obscurio. So here right now, it's middle of October, so this is gonna be a perfect game to have here right away. Um, actually, I have a fair bit of like spooky theme game. I like the Cthulhu theme. I like the murder mysteries of the whodunit and the figure that kind of stuff out. So um, Dixit and Mysterio are my two games that I own that I enjoy. Um, you know, my youngest son really likes Dixit. Um, Lee and it's too abstract thinking for Lee and the kid, the other kids. So they're, they're not big fans uh, of this one at all for some reason. So me and Patrick like it. So hopefully I can convince him to play. Don't think this is going to be a two player game though. What is it? Does it say somewhere? Uh, oh, two to two to eight. Wow, oh, that's interesting. All right, so let's have a look at what it looks like. Okay, first of all, the artwork looks really good. Just the box cover looks neat. <gasps> okay, I like these. When they put these in here, you know like when Sears used to have the wish book and you would sit down and go page by page and put your initials on it? This is what this is. It's like, oh, look at all these other games that you could have. Do you have these? Maybe you should. And I was like, oh, yeah, maybe I should. Okay, so got Obscurio. Oh, I got this one recently as well. Do not have one key. I have Seasons, but I haven't played it yet. Got Dixit. Got Mysterium. And what's over here? Dice Forge. Got this one. Um, but yeah, I, I do, I do like these the little kind of tease shopping menu. Um, okay. So French rule book, which I can read in French. There's, there's one time we're learning a new game and I'm reading them in French. And as I'm reading, I'm saying it in English, kind of doing immediate translation because my family don't speak French so it was, it was awkward but I mean it worked but it's just easier to just read in English so rule book and then we have uh, the components here we have ah, like my setup page so we got the setup page um, and just so the book rule book doesn't look too massive a couple of the ones I've opened recently is like all words. So this looks like it'll be okay. And then you have this thing in the back. So it'll look interesting. Then we have some punch board here. So a couple of things that, you know, that always kind of like, oh, does it punch nice? I really want it to punch nice. And I don't know why I care so much because you're only going to ever punch it the one time. So after you punch it, which punched really nice, by the way. But, and afterwards, like, so even if you have to kind of, work it out a bit it's only the one time oh and then this is the this is this is an interesting shaped board look at this kind of makes me think a bit of mysterium how you kind of play down is there a shield that goes up maybe what is this <gasps> and we have a shield or oh it looks interesting i'm not sure how this works but i forgot the things that you put in their circle so it kind of slides and then there's a little pocket in here that it would slide into. Right. So that looks like, oh, this is cool. So it's a book. It's in the shape of, it's thick. Like this is hefty. This, there's a weight behind this here. And it's recessed. So you put the thing in there and then it's going to not move around. Oh, this is neat. This is really cool. And then I'm not sure what this is, but this is cool as well. What is this? Why would we have see-through? I don't know. I'm excited to find out. Okay, so we have some swirly and red see-through. Is it like one of those where you can't see, but you put the red and then the blue shows up? I don't know. I don't know. I've never played, so I'm excited. Then we have... Look, okay. there's lots here. All right, let's open this up. Let's have a look at these. Um... Okay, maybe. All right, so we have these discs here. Um, and then you have like the the artwork behind and it's just, well, these aren't as abstract as some of the ones you've seen with Dixit. It's, well, I mean like this one, you've got a drawing of a snake that's coming out of the page, but. 
Okay, this one has like things in the sky floating and it gets a little bit. Okay, well, book that's also a fly. All right, so maybe I spoke too soon. Um, so we just got a bunch of these ones here. They look neat. The, the fact that they're like round is kind of fun. I like that. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to, there's, and it feels like there's lots of them, but we'll see. Okay, so we got those. Then we have tokens. Seven. So that's probably why it plays two to eight, right? Because you would have the clue giver and these tokens. These have like, they're satisfying little hefty little tokens. Um, and oh, are they, they kind of have a bit of a shimmer to them. Huh? This looks neat. Well, so you got the different characters with the shimmery tokens. Um, nice. I like that very much. And then we have these cards that I'm sure do something just simply amazing. Um, well, maybe they don't, but. Um, oh, so these are the, I think, the characters again. So just in like the card art one. Uh, just because I recognize, which one was it that I showed you guys? Oh, not this one. This one. See? Looks good. And then we have kind of book cover. Oh, I don't know. So you got book cover on the one side with a symbol and then like a question mark on the other side. So I don't know. This is exciting. And then we have these. Oh, I think this is to kind of use to point out which clue you're referring to or what aspect on the picture that you're kind of utilizing for clue. And then we have a bag. I have no idea what goes in the bag. Do we have anything that goes in the bag? Like the, do these? Maybe, maybe these are what goes in there. I don't know. I don't know what goes in the bag. So, but there's a bag. I think that's it for components in here. So, yeah, I've got some figuring out to do. This is, what is it, Obscurio. So it's already obscure and I have no idea what's going on. So, but the components look super cool. They look amazing. I'm excited to play this game because um, I, I seem to enjoy the, the genre. So this was the unboxing for Obscurio. Bye, everybody.